Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another quick video of the day. Today's video is how to back up your Microsoft Exchange account in Outlook. Let's get started. All right, you can follow along with the pink circle here. There's two things you wanna do before you do a backup. Number one is come over here to file and look and see how much mail you actually have on your server. If you have over 50 gigs, you do not wanna do the next step, okay? <laughs> but anything under 50 gigs, you could download all of it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that over here. Come up to your account settings, account settings. And this box that pops up, you can double click the Microsoft Exchange account and see how much Outlook has downloaded. So the last step I showed you, you might have 40 gigs on your mailbox, and, but you only have one year downloaded to Outlook. The rest is in the server and the cloud, so you can still search and everything. But this here keeps it so Outlook is a little thinner and works a little faster. If you want all your email downloaded, you can hit this slider over here to all, click next, and then close Outlook, and then relaunch it, and it'll download all your mail. Might take a while if you have a lot of mail. And then down here in this area, it'll show you updating. And when it's all done, it'll just say connected to Microsoft Exchange. All right, so you want to close all these windows. And once it's all downloaded and you're comfortable, you do want to make sure one last thing before you do that. I completely forgot, sorry. <laughs> you do want to look at your file explorer and make sure your C drive has enough space also, because that's really important. Some people have very small hard drives and they can't handle all the email from the server. All right, now we're going to start the backup instructions. You can come up to file over here and open an export, import, export, export to a file, uh, Outlook data file, PST. Put your mouse on the very top so it highlights there. Be sure to include all subfolders. This will collect the data from the calendar, contacts, tasks, um, notes, everything in the exchange account. Then hit next. Over here, you want to browse, and you can see by default, Outlook should pull up the Documents Outlook files. If you are in OneDrive, it'll show OneDrive there. OneDrive is fine for storing PSTs. OneDrive is not fine if you're going to be using them as active PSTs in your Outlook profile. So you can go ahead and name it right here. I'm just going to add a little A because I already did my test back up there. And just hit OK. Allow duplicates. I recommend that in case you have emails in different folders. And then hit finish. And the export will happen, and then it'll be on your C drive where you can keep it there or take it to an external hard drive. You can also back that up in Carbonite, and I'll show you how to do that next. So one last thing I like to do is make sure that the files are in Carbonite to get backed up. And as you can see, since I saved it on my documents, it is in the Carbonite backup system. Orange means it hasn't been updated yet, and it will be and green means it's fully in the Carbonite backup system. Now, if you are saving them in OneDrive, OneDrive sometimes will only store things locally in the cloud. You definitely want to right click and make that always available online and then make sure it gets to Carbonite that way. Now, if you have any questions for me, you can reach me at lisa at callthatgirl.biz or call me at 612-865-4475. Thanks and see you in the next video.